What's going on OPB? Mitch here from the OmniBuddy channel, here to give you a quick overview and look at Matt Kent's latest uh, deluxe hardcover to drop, Super Spy. So this book is friggin' awesome. It's MRSP of 50 bucks, and you can definitely get it a lot cheaper over at Organic Price Books, so make sure to hit them up. But let's take a quick look at why this book is so cool. So this is Matt Kent's Super Spy. It is written and drawn by him, and it is awesome. I also gotta say that this uh, top part slides up and down, and you know, it says Matt Kent right here, but you can actually move it around on the cover uh, and the back and all that, and, and actually find other hidden codes in here. Super cool stuff. This whole thing is like a World War II spy uh, espionage thriller, a day in the life of different spies all over the world and what they go through. Uh, everything from the mundane day-to-day -to, -day to losing tails to uh, their training and just going on missions. So it is everything uh, from the mundane to in between and it is awesome. So it's got all the dossier numbers right here and uh, it's about, yeah, it's, it's about, I think it's 340 pages of stories. There's actually some extra story in the end too, along with a lot, a lot of extras. So that's cool. Um, but it just opens with all these different short stories. Uh, let's see, what's this one called? So this is just us here, number, whatever, whatever, whatever. So that's just kind of a uh, safe house is what this one is. And then, you know, it jumps into a new one, a different one, Spy versus Spy. And it just goes through all these uh, Cairo nights, all these different stories. Really, really interesting uh, um, uh, behind the scenes stuff on what spies actually did and went through. And um, just talking about like, you know, you know what 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 life was like for them uh, from their like I said before their training to um, relationships and their deaths and how they live life in general and what they do before and after missions and all that it is super super interesting how they, some of these people do get recruited to become spies for uh, different governments and uh, countries and things like that and. Uh, you know, double agents and all that kind of stuff and uh, being in the actual trenches, really cool stuff. And you know what? It starts as like all these short stories and all these just general like, oh, okay, these are cool. This is, this is really fun. But then all of a sudden you start to notice that there's, um, this isn't really a spoiler. It actually should draw you in more is that they start to interconnect and stories start to intertwine a little bit and you kind of get things fleshed out a little bit more and it becomes so much more interesting and so much more than just a whole bunch of short stories. And it's actually really cool how Kent does this is like each short story has a little bit different look and then it gets into different layouts and different paneling. Um, all the art style fits each other and uh, works together really well, but uh, each one kind of takes a little bit different approach, which is really fun and interesting and kind of throws you into the mix a little bit differently. Uh, a woman swimming the English Channel to get information across and keeping them, uh, you know, keep getting the information there and the maps and all that kind of stuff. Uh, Super cool stuff. Not a ton of color in this book, but there is there is a few that have a fair amount of color, and it's very like pastel like and really cool. And the whole thing has this like water damaged uh, old pages. Really cool art style. Uh, I love Matt Kent's art style. If you're a fan of Kent, this and haven't read this, this is definitely a absolute must. Um, let's see. Let's skip to the end because I don't want to get too much into it. So you get to the end and uh, you got all these different things. This is uh, like interactive activities. So like a gun thing that it shows you how to cut out and make like a little super spy gun. Uh, and then it's got the lost dossier, which is like um, little extra stories. 
And here's actually like a panel. So you go through, it encourages you to cut out all these panels here and then to rearrange them in these sequential orders, one, two, three, four, five, six. So it goes all around. Um, so I'm actually, I'm not gonna cut mine out because what kind of a collector would I be if I cut mine out? So I'm actually gonna look this up online and read the Lost Dossier that way. So let someone else who's far more committed and willing than I am uh, go through and cut up their book. This is super cool. Uh, if you've done like magic eyes or anything like that where you cross your eyes or something like that and you can get the images duplicated. This was actually kind of difficult for me probably because my living room light where I was reading was pretty low. So I'd say do it in bright light. Uh, but you do the like eyes cross thing, get the third image in the middle and it's actually 3D, which is super cool stuff. Very, very fun interaction. Um, you can get the stereoscope viewer to see it without having to, you know, cross your eyes. And apparently that interactive activity was used uh, in World War II to help with training activities for anti-aircraft range estimation. So actual applicability and then some more actual background story and journals and more stories in there. So when you think you're done, all of a sudden, oh no, there's a lot more. And then it goes into the gadgets. and Oh man, such, such cool stuff. And then a lot of the background sketches and character information. A um, little bit of a pet peeve. Like, I love that they do this, but I really wish that they would put it printed here because I have such a hard time reading cursive and handwriting. Um, but you know what? It's super cool. So I might have to try and struggle through a couple of those and finish reading that stuff out. Um, and then just some paneling and sketches that he did uh, in preparation. And then here's some really, really cool stuff. Uh, Super Spy annotations. So these are all the Easter eggs in the book, uh, most of them. So I think he didn't actually do all of them in here, but you can go back and, you know, if you open up the cover and hold it up to a light bulb in there, uh, put a light behind the page, it actually, let's see if I can, where's this page? It's uh, right here. If you shine a light through here, it actually shows like the skeleton through it, it lines up. Super interesting uh, Easter eggs and different things that happen. Uh, Gray Sparrow's path. Uh, forms a heart so I didn't even notice that but I went back and I'm like oh yeah there it is super cool stuff and then just things like you know oh I drew my kid into this and so that's an easter egg and this is the first time I did a self-portrait kind of thing and included myself as a character Matt Matt Kent saying that and here's how to fold that gun um, and cut it out and just all different kinds of spy stuff really really cool in-depth um, extras in this so super cool and here's a lot of the like the um, influences and what what brand cigarettes and things like that that they talk about and use and all that very cool very cool book uh, and then you know other stuff by Matt Kent I do gotta say I do need to say that this book uh, has held up very nicely let's get it to like a middle page here and show you that eye hole really nice eye hole uh, the spine's holding up really really well so this book is a great great read let's get that back up there there we go and that's a quick look all right so that was a quick look at matt kent's uh super spy again this book is phenomenal i was not expecting it to be that good i expected it to be awesome because you know what matt kent and he's always good but this book absolutely blew me away uh, when you started getting into it you're like oh these are cool little short stories about spies and what it's like to be a spy and then it just all starts to wrap together into this one big cohesive story almost uh, I mean they're all kind of separate but they all start interacting and affecting each other super cool stuff and then the end part of this book which has so many cool extras in it uh, I mean there's parts where he encourages you to cut out pages and rearrange panels super cool stuff there's interactive uh, Easter eggs in here where you can shine lights through pages and do all these crazy things 
super cool. Do not miss out on this book. It's one of Kent's best, in my opinion. Uh, but that's, uh, that's, that's my opinion. Anyways, that's it. Make sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications for everything OPB. If you are interested in uh, seeing more of my videos and more of my stuff, I am all over on social media. Instagram and YouTube are my two biggest channels. Uh, so you can find me over there, Omnibuddy. And I do a ton of uh, unboxings, overviews. I just dropped a documentary a little while ago uh, on a local comic shop and the crazy cool story about how they became such so much more than just a comic shop. They're a community hub for the city, uh, my hometown. So that's why I was uh, able to do that, but super excited about that. Uh, so make sure to hit up my channel if you're interested. That's it. Take care. Stay cool.